Hello friend, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will be seeing how to handle Hexam not installed error. So uh, you might be installing your AVD and while installing the AVD, you might be encountering this error like Hexam is not installed. And even after installing the Hexam by clicking on this button and clicking next, and uh, even after we have installed a complete hexam, e uh, even it will show us the error that uh, hexam not installed. So what we will be doing in this case? First solution is that we will go to a BIOS setup. In that BIOS setup, what we will be doing? We will go to a virtualization support section. I am using the Dell laptop. So this is the screen of my BIOS setup. In that, we will be going to virtualization support, and in that, we will be enabling virtualization technology and VT for direct I/O. So, on clicking this, enabling this thing, clicking this particular button, uh, exam error will be solved. Even if it is not solved. What we need to do is that we need to go to a control panel. In control panel, we have to go to programs. In that, we have to click on this turn Windows features on and off option. You will be provided with this particular screen. In that, we have to click this hyper B section and we will be and clicking the checkbox which is beside this hyper B management tool and hyper B plan. And we'll say OK. On clicking OK, it will ask us to restart. Now, so we'll click on this Restart Now button. Okay, now we have restarted our system, and now we can see that whatever the exam error that we were seeing over here in a, a device manager also, it is now gone completely, and now we can create a device AVD and uh, even if you have already created a device, you can run that AVD by clicking on this play button. So as you can see that uh, it is starting, AVD is starting. Earlier when uh, we were clicking on this uh, play button, it was showing us a exam not installed error. And now we can see that our device is getting started now we can see that the device is started and if you want we can run our application and it will be displayed in our emulator thank you for watching this video for more videos on android stay connected with us thank you